Wait, I know why you are here. You heard about dropshipping, right? And you want to know what that is. Well, dropshipping is a type of retail fulfillment that lets you sell products without managing, storing, or shipping inventory. Instead, you connect with dropshipping suppliers and source products to sell online. Customers check out on your site and then you forward the order info to the supplier and the supplier fulfills the order. And the thing is, you can start wherever you are in the world as long as you have a computer and internet connection. Sounds simple, right? That's because it really can be. However, there are some key factors to be aware of that will impact your chances of dropshipping success. And know that it can get a little bit technical, especially if you're just starting out. We know how it feels, we've been there. And that's why we created a course that's beginner friendly, easy to follow, and will help you get started on your dropshipping journey. If you're in, check out the link below. But wait, is dropshipping even legal to begin with? Dropshipping is completely legal. To be clear, you are selling products with the supplier's permission. If I start dropshipping, how can I make a profit? As a dropshipper, you'll need to balance your cost and revenue. First, consider the wholesale prices of the products you source as well as your marketing efforts. Then, price your products wisely to ensure that you're earning more than you're spending on your dropshipping business. you learn the step-by-step -step on how to do that in the Module 2 of our course. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. But how much money will it cost me to start a dropshipping business? There are three main costs to consider when starting a dropshipping business online. First is your e-commerce platform plan. Shopify can really help you get started. Start your 14-day free trial in the link below. Next is your website domain, which ranges from 5 bucks to 20 bucks, depending on your domain name. And lastly, your marketing campaign costs. All of that with some tips and tricks will be covered in the module 2 of the course. See you there!